and welcome everybody and good morning uh it's a uh really nice morning here on the farm uh i'm in california again at the california farm and uh today i think i'm going to head out uh temperatures are starting to improve even more now um that we're heading a little bit later into spring here i think i'm going to head out to my one of my biggest fields and plant wheat today um, it's a field that i previously planted corn in and i want to do a slightly less intensive crop in that field uh, so i think i'll be doing this uh this tractor this this setup uh, with wheat uh, shouldn't take long at all um, i have to get over there and figure out if i need to cultivate first um, some of my planters i can plant into fields that are not cultivated because um, they're especially it's a you know a mod for the sim so usually the uh, sim requires you to plow or cultivate before planting a crop but some planters uh, like sim similar to real life you don't need to do that so I'm just gonna hop in here um, I think I can squeeze through uh, no actually I, I do need <laughs> I need to move some stuff um, before I do that, so let me, yeah, I need to go get my, I need to walk back down and get my truck, um, but yeah, hope you're having a great day, um, I've been, uh, working on the Wisconsin farm recently, uh, I think actually there's a video of me being here before, uh, so this might be my second video back at the California farm, but, uh, you know, one of my favorite times is spring because it means uh, everything's greening up again and also it's time to plant, so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I realized I dropped off a bit there. So yeah, I'm just gonna move some stuff out of the way, get this planter moved over to the field I wanna plant wheat in. And uh, if I need to, cultivating rig is already over there near my grain bins, so we'll be good to go. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> By the way, I uh, deactivated the mod that is called uh, manual attach. Um, I was just having some issues with it where I like to get out of the vehicle and actually attach the trailers and everything. Um, but yeah, I was just having kind of issues with it conflicting with other mods and things. So for now, I'm just back to the not very realistic, but simpler way of connecting things. So try and work on that later. See if I can resolve that. Okay, that's moved for now. Uh, it's one of the reasons I love having this giant shop is there's a lot of empty space if I need to move a bunch of things or just, yeah, put them under cover. And I need to check if that planter has seed or not too. Okay, it looks like, so almost half a load. Um, where is my, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So my uh, seed trailer <coughs> is uh, over at the other shop, so that'll be closer to me. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to let this warm up for a second and, uh, and head on out to the field. And uh, given this is my biggest planting setup, I don't think it'll take too long to plant. Um, it'll be my first time planting wheat, I believe. I usually do uh, canola, oilseed radish as a cover crop, and uh, I think I've done oat in the past. And uh, corn, of course, was in the, in the big field. 
um, in the big field is this one, number eight here. And the uh, fertilizing looks decent enough. It's not, you know, it's got enough for what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that looks good. I think all my fields are pretty, pretty well off at the moment as far as nitrogen content. Uh, so that's good. So, all right. Let's get a snake my way around the, uh, barn here. Gotta let that truck in the way. I love the uh, love the kind of like early morning haze or um, just yeah, just the little details like that. Kind of like hazy in the morning, so just like that looks really nice. in here and back it up at least. Using the mirrors, which I usually don't do, but there we go. Hands out of the way. Probably just have to move it again later, but <laughs> I do like that truck by the way, that's a C70. Uh, just kind of a nice classic touch. Can't really haul that much with it compared to the other trucks and things, but it's just nice to have around for smaller loads, smaller crops. And this rig on my left has been in some previous videos. Uh, this is the uh, 7230 with the trike front mount, um, which is an interesting, uh, interesting piece of equipment. Uh, can turn on a dime quite literally, um, but it's uh, of course it's a little unstable on hills and things. But it's done its it's done a pretty decent job so far. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty unique piece of machinery. So I previously used this rig, the ninety five twenty, and uh, planting equipment. Um, I was doing a contract field and using the GPS setup on that. And uh, yeah, this thing can cover a lot of ground, that's for sure. Down there is the 7310. I uh, was uh, using the Great Plains planter down there uh, just to fill in some of my smaller fields. I almost call them like test plots because they're so small, but um, I'm just like experimenting with, you know, what is, what's it gonna look like if I do berms and, you know, Try to leave like a little bit of uh, you know like wildlife habitat or things like that around the fields. Since I don't do any uh, herbicide or pesticide spraying, I'm trying not to do any of that ever. Um, I'm gonna yeah, I can cut across here and say. <laughs> and I got my uh, my trusty tuk tuk. <laughs> You'll see is sitting out there. It's kind of like uh, something I leave. Uh, in the near the field as a way to uh, drive back and forth quickly um, so that'll be handy I'm in 
probably think I'll probably be needing it to get the cultivator. Uh, I'm not sure if this planter can plant directly into standing cover crop. We'll find out in a minute here. And I'm driving past my um, these facilities here, which one is a composting plant, another one is a fertilizing plant, which takes the compost, turns it into an organic fertilizer, uh, dry powdered fertilizer, and then this last thing is the biodiesel plant, which turns canola, harvested canola, into biodiesel. So those are my, uh, one of my government subsidies plants. But uh, yeah, they're a project I have, I'm working on as well, but uh, the composting plant, not sure what's going on with it, but the biodiesel plant works just fine and I, it, uh, I have quite a lot of biodiesel, or enough biodiesel to fuel all my vehicles for quite some time, so. Uh, but I think I will be I'm looking forward to harvesting some canola soon. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I do love, I really enjoy harvesting this almost as much as planting. So there's my little tuk tuk, my little transport uh, back and forth between fields. Uh, so we'll see in a second here if I'm going to need the cultivator. And I'm going to have to get GPS loaded up too. Let that unfold. Oh, uh, oh. Come on, you bastards. There we go. Okay, that's unfolded. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, let's see. Should have a track polluted for this field. Uh, unless. <laughs> what field is this? Field 8. Oh, that's for the other tractor. No. Niner X. Should be. Okay, I think that's correct. I just needed to walk over. I need to remember to change the seed too. Should get along this edge here, I think. There we go. Okay, that's good. Um, let me think here. Make sure I have the seed selected before I forget to do that. So yeah, that's perfect. Okay, right on. So the GPS is configured. And can I plant direct? No, I can. Right on. Okay. <laughs> One less step needed then. Uh, no cultivating required, so this planter can also plant into standing cover crop, so that's excellent. Right on. Let's bump the speed up just a little bit, and uh, yeah, we're rolling. Right on. And yeah, the GPS is, uh, I hope, perfectly aligned. <laughs> Looks like it's getting pretty close to the trees there. 
Um, but I, yeah, obviously it looks like a, oop, shit, no, it's not. <laughs> oh dear. I just clipped the tree, him. That's interesting. Uh, this would be a much bigger deal in real life, but <laughs> luckily in the sim, it's uh, not the end of the world. That's that's annoying because the GPS track should be correct. Should be. Uh, I mean, I've planted through here once and didn't hit a tree, so that sucks. But. This is farming, we run into problems. Alright. Turn off steering. Let's see if we can get around this tree now. I'm gonna have to fold this up actually. Pull down some branches. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought that was gonna. Thought we were just gonna cruise. So. Um. Now what? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna move over one. And I guess I'll come through, it's not the end of the world, I'll just come through with the uh, smaller planter and do the edge around the field. But uh, that's a bummer. Just nailed my planter with that tree. Okay, steering is on speed set, got the correct seat, and we are ready to go again. No trees this time. There we go. Get that nice throaty growl. <laughs> Love the sound of that thing. Okay. Well, that's weird. I wonder why. The GPS is, huh? I don't know. Something else to look into later. But for now, I'm just gonna bump speed up slightly more. And right on, we're planting wheat. And this is actually this is a pretty sizable field. So uh, this will probably take me a minute to do this. <laughs> back and forth, even with this size planter. See, so yeah, I'll just have to bring, uh, I'll have to bring the 7310 out and uh, just do a pass around the edge. It's, for some reason that GPS track is interfering with the trees, which it shouldn't. But I've got room to turn around here. Don't need to worry about running out of room. Luckily, the setup can turn on a dime, so that's nice.
looks like the seed is going to last us for a little bit. I don't know if I said that already, but forty uh, percent. So um, hmm, maybe we'll now. I don't know. We'll see. I'm wondering if I can cover the whole field with what's left. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll know in a couple more passes. Then I guess it's some leftover corn <laughs> standing there. I'm not sure why I have this dead area of the field. probably be turning a little bit less sharp than that doing every other row back and forth probably do that in the next one just looks a little too tight Yeah, we're actually uh, we're covering some ground. I mean, from this map anyway, it looks pretty good. Shouldn't take too long. My favorite things is this field. These fields just full of uh, green oilseed radish. It just looks really nice instead of you know being just dead and empty or left with nothing in it.
And there goes the train. I'm going to do a less sharp turn here and go to the next row. So it's not a sharper turn. Digging in now. So yeah, there we go. Um, so cool. Just planting wheat. Um, I think I'll just stop the video here and uh, pick up uh, probably be close to done in the next video. So I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.